Hey Salivas, this is Super Sam, I got Barbecue, and today we are going to be talking about Brian Williams. You may or may not know him as one of the developers at Ukes, and his comments on the relationship with 2K and why it came to an end. Some troubles with the community creations that again signal that things are about to pick up. So if you exist, you guys know what to do. Hit the like button. See, it's cringe, but it works sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah, if you drink water, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on because we're about to get real detailed. And before we start this, just want to just clarify, none of these comments have come from 2K themselves. This has come from the developers of the old WWE games. Anything from SmackDown all the way up to 2k19 ukes so since the announcement of wa 2k20 and the first gameplay was revealed there have been accusations reports that apparently ukes upped and left and have left visual concepts in 2k in a really sticky situation with the old engine uh, but this was never proven in any way shape or form and there are a couple of accusations on twitter not to mention some mass media outlets who were effectively stating that it Ukes effectively just gave up and walked away and are now going to do their own thing. Which I'm not going to name any particular names. I'm also not going to mention any mass media outlets specifically. Wait a second. <coughs> Culture. We now have proof, thanks to Dre41Gaming, which I'll link the details and the footage into the comments and description below, that actually it was very different to what has been reported. So let's look at what Brian Williams had to say from Ukes about the relationship with 2K Games. During the interview, a question is asked about the split between 2K and Ukes, and Brian Williams stated this. Okay, so this is something where even when I was at 2K, I knew that this was going to come. Even when I was at 2HQ, I was three years in, and they were trying to get rid of Ukes. To get rid sounds hard. From a business standpoint, you would much rather have the games you publish be developed internally. That's just business sense. The decision makers at THQ really wanted to have Rainbow develop the SmackDown games and have that be done internally. It's all money. It's got nothing to do with whether they're a developer or whatever. No, it's about what's most cost effective. Paying a third party developer is more expensive. That's really what it boils down to. We all knew that. It's how 2K operate with all of their games developed internally. Again, no confirmation at all from 2K. It's unlikely that any official details are going to be coming out about it. But this is pretty much dead on confirmation, at least from Uke's side, that it was mutual. It was going to happen anyway. It was nothing to do with 2K, nothing to do with the engine. It is something that has been on the cards for some time. And 2K basically pulled the trigger and said, but we're going to work on our own now. As always, we'd love to hear what you think about this. So please let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this news about this, this interview that's come out. And where do you think this leaves Ukes in the future? Do you see them working, for example, with AEW or... You know, you guys just leave your comments and thoughts. There's also some information coming from the community creations team that the community creations upload site for WWE 2K19 is now down, has been down for several days. And as far as I am aware, this happening usually means that they are preparing for WWE 2K20 for its release as we are now less than a month away from its release. Amazingly, October is literally days away. So... This year has gone really fast. I can't wait to get my hands on 2K20. Maybe we'll find out more about that very soon as well. But let me know your comments in the comment section below. Make sure you leave a like on the video if you exist. Subscribe if you want to see more exclusive WWE 2K20 footage and, of course, news and WWE Supercard. Turn your notifications on whilst you're there. And I'll see you all in the next one. One last thing, and that is to... Zip! Yeah, 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 yeah.